Today, I put in the netting to help support my peppers. And I do this every year. The reason is these peppers will get three to four feet tall. If I get a heavy rain or heavy wind come in, it can knock them over. I don't want that. I want them to grow straight tall. And then I pulled the peppers through the trellis to help them get a start. If I don't put that trellis in the right spot on these plants, the plants will just continue to push the trellis up it'll bind them up. So I always want to make sure when I put this trellis in, this netting, that I wiggle the plants through and bring the plants up through the netting. This is 12 inches from the surface up to there. And these peppers have been out for probably about a month now. So I used little four inch zip ties to attach the netting to the post to make sure the netting doesn't get pushed up or slide down. Because I didn't want the excess hanging down, I used twine and I took twine and wrapped it around to hold this netting up like this so that the plants won't grow through this way. This kind of interferes with the plant growth and I don't want it growing, leaves growing out the side and getting hung up in this excess netting. These are six foot posts and I use those because that's what I have. You can use uh, probably four foot posts would give you enough room. I use this every year, real good setup. It's easy to put up. Oh, by the way, don't put these posts in before you put the netting up. So if you put the posts done first, then the netting's going to have to come down over the top and you're not going to be able to do that. So it's going to be easier just to lay the netting down like I did, put the posts in, bring the netting up to uh, 12 inches off the ground. Hey, hope that would give you a good idea. If you like the video, give it a like, share it with your friends, leave your comments and questions below, subscribe to my channel if you would, and pound that bell to get notified of my future videos. Back soon with more stuff. Bye-bye.